Hi, I'm Paige from Paige Dot, and today in this video I'm going to be answering some questions that people ask me in the Paige Draw community. Uh, the next question I got was, what inspires you to make uh, the characters? Um, when I draw characters, sometimes I just kind of draw them out of the blue, um, but most of the times I kind of think of what do I want them to wear, and then I kind of think of what kind of outfit I want to pull together for them, and then when I actually draw the characters, for hairstyle, for facial expression, I kind of have to think of their personality before I actually just dive in and draw them. So, yeah. Uh, for my own more personal characters that you don't really see on page draw, for example, Talalia and Jacques, um, the way that I actually was inspired to draw them was I used to have dreams about them and the world that they lived in. So I ended up uh, creating my own story for them and um, that's how those characters were created. But I don't have dreams for characters uh, in Peggy Doll. Uh, the next question that I got was how did you react to the success of the app? Um, it just, it started happening so gradually, like it started becoming popular, like it didn't just, bam, become popular, right? So, since it was so gradual, I didn't really notice it until it was already, like, really, like, it's, it had already grown, so it just, it wasn't that big of a surprise for me because it was so slow to start. So, looking at it now, it's like, oh, okay, we went really far to get here and I didn't really notice it that much. So, yeah. It's kind of neat. The uh, next question is, how do you decide the names of your characters? Um, I kind of, when I look at characters, again, like when I draw them, I kind of have to figure out, at least at a really small scale, what their personality is. And with that, I also kind of have to find the name that would match them. Um, so I can't just, uh, go on like a baby names website or something and be like, yep, the first one on the list, that's going to be the name. I can't do that because um, I can give them that name, but it just it wouldn't really suit them. So I kind of have to think of um, what kind of name like would suit their personality and whatnot. And I don't really know how to explain it, but I kind of do like I have to put a little bit of thought into giving them a name. Again, I can't just pick a name first on the list, that's going to be their name. Otherwise, I'm not going to be happy with it. Uh, the next question is, is Nyan a cat? Um, I, I haven't really decided that yet. I kind of, when I drew her, I just kind of drew cat ears and whatnot and just called it a day. And lately, since I'm trying to create a story with Nyan and whatnot, I kind of have to decide if she's a part cat or if she's just a human that puts on cat ears. I haven't really decided it yet. I think I'm going to see what uh, the Facebook community thinks, but I don't know what she is. <laughs> uh, an extension of the last question, um, how do you create the effect of red to black on Nyan's dress? Um, it's actually not that difficult um, once you kind of figure out how to do it. Um, what I do is, lately I've actually been drawing her dress uh, like a warm gray and pink, but you're using the same technique. What you do is you pick the color on the bottom of the dress, so whether it be a pinkish color or a red, you color that up to the desired um, height you want. So. Um, so you do that and you make sure it's not like a solid line, you make sure you go up and kind of make sure it's a little bit wavy. And then after that you get the, either the really dark grey or the lighter colored grey that I use. And you start from the top and go down and kind of go over the red or the pink area. And then after that you can do the shading and it's not that difficult. Um, I'm not really necessarily like blending the entire thing. I'm only blending it where the colors meet. So uh, it's hard to kind of, it's hard to describe it, but it's not that difficult once you kind of figure out the, what you do. Uh, I think what I'll do with Nyan's dress, um, I think I'll probably create a video tutorial on how to color it. So 
um, sometime in the future, I'll be doing that for you. The next question I got was, how do you draw a manga body? Um, well, I have tutorials on my app, Page Draw. Uh, I also have some online on my website, uh, pagedraw.com. Uh, I also have a few tutorials on my YouTube, but uh, I'll just show you quickly what I do. What I use is I use guidelines, and um, the guidelines, a lot of people think that they're really, like, they're useless or something, because not many people draw them, but um, when you think about it, it's it makes it much easier for you to draw when you use them. So, uh, here's just a quick sketch of what I did right now. Um, it's in pen, so I can't really change it. It's a little bit big, but <laughs> that's kind of what I do. And they also asked how you draw a head, and again, you have to use the guidelines. And although you're never going to see them ever again in your drawing, they really help you out to figure out what pose it's in and whether or not it, everything's the right size. So you can kind of see quickly, okay, is the body too long, is the legs too short, etc. So that's kind of what you figure out and then you draw the skin over it. The next question is, how old are you and when did you start Pagey Draw? Um, I started Pagey Draw when I was 14 years old, but it wasn't another year until my first application was released, so yeah. Um, how old am I now? I am 17 years old. Okay, um, the last question that I have on here is, do you think you're Japanese? Um, no, I don't think I'm Japanese. Uh, I was born and raised in Canada, so I'm pretty sure I'm Canadian. Um, unless I secretly have some, uh, uh, Japanese in my bloodline, I highly doubt that, but, <laughs> yeah. Canadian. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Uh, hopefully I answered all of your questions. Um, if you have any other questions, ask away. Um, if you're not already a member of my community on Facebook, please check it out, Pagey Draw and Chibi Draw. Uh, if you want to see more tutorials from me and you want to get updated with other characters, other question answer videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Uh, if you're interested in contests, uh, again, check out my Facebook page, Pagey Draw and Chibi Draw. You'll be updated there. Uh, I also have contest uh, details and information on pagedraw.com. If you're not really big on contests and you still want to be able to get uh, some of the art markers I sell, like Copics, um, please check out my online store, shop.pagedraw.com. I sell tons of art stuff there, and we have the lowest prices on the internet, so check it out. Thank you.